tell me, how long have we been locked up? Oh, see, I fucking told you! You idiot, Sam! You fucking idiot! So remember what I said last time. Now don't worry, there won't be a three to four week break for episode three. Well, that was a fucking lie. Welcome back to the K, the finale as far as I'm aware. What happened in episode two? I don't remember. But we're about to remember, I guess. Was it through here? That's when we woke up and everything was normal and happy. Time for the episode three, the final episode and hopefully the best. Okay, we're waking up again. Jesus Christ. Waking up from ash and dust. Stepping off of the prison bus. It really wants us to understand that this place is nice and happy. It still looks kind of creepy though, even if it's happy. Otherwise, it's just pictures of kids. What's that? Your eyes are rough. It's locked. Why is it locked, Yerozeg? Yerozugi. Sugi Pugi. Ah, oh, I'm allergic to Yerozeg! What about the toilets? Oh. Tori was here. Hello, Alfie Days. So this is where the creepy ficker was in the first episode. But we can't go there now. This is where we went in the first episode as well. But it's locked now. That's good. I didn't like that place. Let's go to the exit. Let's escape this shit hole. Never mind. I know I need to search more. I just don't know where to search more. When you get stuck, you sit back and you have a sip of your coffee. That's the good shit. Oh, the fridge. A good appetite needs no sauce. Thank you, raccoon and puppy. Real fun. Yeah. Can I get in the fridge? Is there a head in this fridge? Okay, so for some reason I just had to look at the fridge first before I could do anything else. Hello. I'm already here, mate. <laughs> Raphael. Hello, Raphael. And I'm Sam, I forgot about that. Nice to meet you. You have any sleeping pills? No. I use them to sleep. Man, the dreams I have, they're killing me. I haven't had a good night's sleep in ages. I slept better when I tried a sleeping pill that hot Latina gave me. Profiling? In 2020? Good thing you're locked up already, mate, or you'd be getting shipped off somewhere else. The Latina? <laughs> Alatina Tori. Alfie! Zoella! Zoella's here! What the frick? Collab! Man, she hit rock bottom. One day she was all drugged up, trembling and crying. The next morning she was gone. Every night I go to sleep, I know I'm gonna wake up in some weird, 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 weird. Ah. I'm gonna end up in some weird place, walking around, trying to wake up. It feels like I would die if I didn't wake up fast enough. I started dreaming those kinds of things too, and someone is following me. Nini follows me all the time, walking by my side. Yeah, who's Nini? You messed up bad. What do you think about this place? I'm not really sure if this is the place to be cured. Okay, that sentence was written horribly. And I said it's horribly. It was a joint effort there. I haven't seen that side of courage. Okay, that was my fault. I haven't seen that psychiatrist lady since yesterday. Isn't she supposed to be here to help us? I'm pretty sure there are better places in New Jersey where sickos like us could get treatment. And the dreams. It's weird. My dreams are so real. It's also so weird that you say all this and your mouth doesn't move. I sometimes have a hard time telling if I'm awake or not. And that boy, he's there all the goddamn time. Nini. You said you're going to tell me another time. <laughs> no, you just told me. What was your name again? Sam, why are you here? Did your chick leave you? It's a long story. Economical problems, depression, drugs and panic attacks. Same old song, huh? I need to go. It's getting late. It frightens me, but if I don't sleep, I die. What the fuck? What the fuck is this place? So, were the other two episodes dreams? And now we're... awake? Or is this just another dream? Oh, we can go out now. We escaped. Whoa. Oh. Okay, yeah. Are we in a dream, actually? Examine. Yeah. Kiss me, date me. Uh, 
No, thank you. Don't know what's behind them holes. Loft hatch up there. Do I need to find some things to put in some holes? A watch. And I can't leave. Now I'm stuck in here. Right, that's nice. Have a look at this watch then. What the fuck? Okay, that door's locked. Good. Don't want to be overwhelmed. Oh. Double doors down here. What's this? A... A knife handle? A knife? Now I just need the blade. You know, the useful bit. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> God, little cupboard here. With a penny inside. Well, I love these pennies. I'm pretty sure there's multiple endings. I just hope the endings don't determine just based off how many pennies you got. Because that's kind of weak. The pig? Excuse me? Well, can I use, like, my watch again? Oh my god, I can! Okay, that did nothing for me. But I can use it in all the different rooms. That's awesome! Oh, what's this? Hello? A shovel? We're getting weapons out here, you know? Raphael turns on us, he's done for. Me and Raphael stand, standing, you know, back to back, side by side. With Nini. What the heck? <gasps> oh my god, that scared me. All that for a, for a key. For a fucking key. With a pig on it. That took me 10 minutes. That's insane. But that doesn't matter, because we've done it now. Never want to see that box again. Oh! Pig! Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and we've got a flashlight, which is always fun. And a cane. Wow. Oh, I don't want to see my um, hand in a bag friend again. Oh, it's okay. It's just a videotape. Scariest movie ever. Okie dokie. Now I need to find a, a TV to play it on. <laughs> Could be a challenge. <laughs> Not just a TV, but a VHS player. Who still has a VHS player? I mean, I think I do somewhere, but... I don't know where. Ah, what the fuck? Okay. I thought someone was going to come down that then. We're in a dream. Nothing can hurt us in a dream. We're in a dream in a game. Nothing can hurt you in a game or a dream. It's this room where the guy got shot. Nini! It's Nini! Right, am I awake now or am I asleep? Which one is it? I'm so confused. Why are our doors not locked? Raphael? Buddy? Are you there? I can't take this either. I'm gonna die. Don't say that, Raphael. Who's laughing at you? Nini. Nini wants you dead? I thought Nini was your friend. Oh god, I didn't realize this was gonna be a little boy. That's pretty scary. Can we see Yerisig? Yerisig's still locked. What about the fridge? What does the fridge say now? Funeral? No, thank you. Nini. Fuck out of here. Oh, not this place again. Tori was here. I don't care. Where's Tori? Can we save Tori and happily ever after? Sam Raphael and, and Alfie Days. Do I go back in my room? Oh, yes, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it, you piece of shit. What if I use the cane on here? Ah, now it's big brain time. Hey, I deserve some. What about for a ball? I'm gonna pick up that ball after I have my coffee because it helps me grow balls. So I believe now that we put this ball into one of these. Or maybe we have to get four balls. Four balls. Don't even know. Sticky Vicky can take four balls at once. Which one? That one. Okay. Now what? This way. Let's climb up the ladder again. 
see what's changed now. What the fuck? Sam, he's gone now. Nini? Yes. Who is Nini? Me and Juan, another guy from my gang, Chicanos Locos, we were on our way home from a party. When we grouped a member of the gang with whom we were at war, we saw it in his colours. He was called Nini, and he bore the gang's purple colours. We were drunk, and Juan, my friend, had brought a piece, an old German gun from the Second World War. Juan gave it to me and asked me to confront Nini. Since I was new to this, I had to show him that I have what it took to be a Chicano loco. I walked towards him and raised the gun. We forced him into an abandoned industrial building just outside of Newark and found an empty storage room where he had to sit down on a chair like this, this place. I held the gun against his forehead. We heard the shots, oh my God. I felt powerful when Nini started crying. Then the gun went off. He fell backwards onto the floor, staring up at the ceiling. It was over in seconds. We left the gun, the murder weapon, and ran home. For a week I stayed at my apartment. I did not talk to anyone during this time. It's like us now in quarantine. Several times every hour, I looked up to the street through the window to see if there were any cops outside. There never were. During this week, the gang received information about the old gym and gun at the crime scene, which everyone knew belonged to Xuan. For the before the police could arrest Shuan, he was found dead, probably killed by Nini's gang. Almost all of my dreams were about Nini. He was there observing me, reminding me of what I have done. I thought it would go I thought it would get better here at reaching dreams, but it got worse. So Raphael I think he's happy now. Is that that's not you, is it, Raphael? Raphael, mate. Oh, come on. Sorry, bud. I just don't know what else to say. Just... It's tough. And you got taken to this place, and it, it fucks you up, apparently. What do I use my magnifying glass on? Does Sam have a small willy? Do I use my magnifying glass here? Oh my god, I'm good. Holy shit. The man had been swallowed up in a world of darkness. The knife with the green handle was his salvation. His veins were open as the sun rose in the east. We just need to find ways to get four different bulls. I mean, we found one. Sam's got two. Raphael's hanging up there. I don't know how we could hang out with Raphael. I didn't mean to make that pun, but I just kind of went along with it. So Rafa yeah, why can we still talk to Raphael? It must be a dream. Static. Let's indicate when we're going into a dream. For some reason. Now we've got a Red Bull. Don't know why they're dropping them down ladders. It could hurt, hit me, and that, that would not be the nicest thing. Wait, is that a person? What the fuck? Okay, now balls are coming through like crazy. That's a, just a ball. Hello? Who's that? <laughs> Fucking excuse me, that's not how blackboards work, you prick. At least now we can put our balls in the holes. Something I've never done before. It's really weird, the first episode went on for about an hour and a bit. The second episode I did in about 30 minutes, and this one I'm already at 40 minute mark. I could be near the end, or maybe it's just because I'm struggling more. So far the second episode is my favourite though, it's the most straightforward. This and the first, there's so many places to explore it gets really confusing <laughs> which I guess is kind of the point it is a puzzle game <laughs> oh hello a TV key is that for the, the main room oh I can turn around now no I can't hello TV's in the main room unless I just go through here again and I'll be sent back in a minute oh that's the TV room there I got it I got it I got it Ah, oh, I'm smart. Big brain. Check me out, boys. This is giving me flashbacks to the convenience store. What do you mean, no? Yes! I'm smarter than you, Sam. Fuck off. Italia Bilento presents a film by... 
Lucio Frenzy, Zombie of the Dead. That's it, I'm guessing I just need that little. Where is it? Triangle star, moon, triangle. Awesome. Oh, what's this? A crowbar. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. I thought we have one more room we can go into. And I'm excited. Oh, surely I can't use it. What the fuck is that? Oh, I thought it was a snake. Sam, someone is down there. From time to time, we can hear her cries. It's sad, really. I wish I could go talk to her, but I can't find her. What happened to you? Why are you here? Me and Dad were eating dinner, and Auntie fell asleep. Then I think I fell asleep. I can't remember. Did your mother make you and your father go to sleep? Maybe. I'll try to find her, I promise. And Sam, if you meet my mother, please, please, please don't hurt her. Do you promise? I, I promise. Thank you, Sam. Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye. You know, I was scared of you at first, but, you know, I feel like you, we, we got on quite well. Sam, Sam in hand. Sam in arm. Sam in, Sam in bag. Let's go. The finale time. Circle. Oh, piss. That was a triangle. That was the moon and that was a triangle. Wow! Memory! Yeah. Hello? Is that the knife blade? Oh! And a key. Fantastic. It's a lot rustier than I expected it to be. I'll be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be a shiny new knife. Just means, you know, if you stab someone, they're going to get blood poisoning, aren't they? It's kind of, kind of fucked, to be honest. Oh, flowers. Can I... <gasps> Shovel. They got these fucking flowers. We've had to promise not to hurt her mum. And I feel like you're about to open your eyes, aren't you? Yeah. Tori? I've been chasing you in your dreams for a long time. Wait, so I'm awake right now? You're the one who's been chasing me? Why? When I wanted in these dreams, there was no one who could wake me up. I eventually ended up in such a deep sleep that my body could not handle it. So the monster, you... You've tried to wake me up? Yes, I tried to wake you up before it was too late. This is crazy. Everything is a mess in my head. Why is Yerasig doing this to us? Do we go and storm Yerasig's office? There is probably no simple answer. She already killed her son and her husband several years ago. Yerisig is the mother! The boy in the bag. Yes, and Jack Roth. The headless man. When Jack tried to leave, she did to them what she did to me, Raphael and you. She gave them drugs to control them, eventually they died. I guess she brought us here because she was lonely. Where, is New Where in New Jersey is Rich in Dreams? Are we in Newark? I don't know. We need to find out. We? Don't you understand? I'm gone. Raphael is gone, it's just you left. When you turn around you will find stairs to the light. Yerizig is there now. Don't let her keep you here. Oh! Fuck. So... boy in the bag didn't want us to do this but she didn't just kill them both she cut them apart we found Jack Roth's head in a fridge and the boy's arm is in a bag and killed Tori and Raphael's and trying to kill me oh, who did I go for the hot Latino the little boy not like that okay here we are Yerizig, it's time. Hello. Raphael is dead, and so is Tori. Stop this madness, Yerizig. Let me out. You killed them all. Tori, Raphael, Jack, and your own son. 
open the door and let me out. How does she have a license? These kids will open the front door, take them and leave. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Thought he promised the boy. We need to avenge Tori. And Raphael. And Jack. Oh my god. Choices. It's a poll on the screen. Just let me know what you do if you're watching this far. <laughs> my theory is if I take the keys, she's gonna she's gonna kill me. Straight up she'll she'll kill me. But I wanna try and use peace. Let's just take the keys. I'll go into Newark and the police will be here soon. End this madness and stay here until the police arrive. If you leave, they will still find you. It's over. Don't say that, because now she's definitely going to kill you. Oh, see, I fucking told you. You idiot, Sam. You fucking idiot. She cut up her own son and her dad. She's going to have no problem killing your sorry ass. Fuck's sake. This is why you don't do drugs, kids. Three and a half years have passed since three American students vanished during a field trip in Warsaw, Poland. If you have any important information related to the disappearance of these students, please contact your local police department immediately. Bad ending. Well, blame the fucking stupid kid with his teddy bear. She just left and said nothing. The fact you said the police were gonna come, you're a fucking idiot. Sam, you're a fucking idiot. What is a friend? Not Sam. Sam's a she shit friend. So dwelling in two bodies. Hey? A single soul dwelling in... Oh, I'm 14 and this is deep. I'm fucking mad. I am fucking mad at that ending. Nah, fuck off. We're going back and we are avenging Tori. We are avenging Raphael. We are avenging Jack. We are avenging that little shit in a bag. Oh, you fucking... Hunt. Yeah, use that knife. Fuck you. The only thing I see outside is a forest. How do I get to Newark from here? I won't let you leave. You can't leave. Well, fuck you, Yerizig. Oh my god. Where are we, Yerizig? Answer me! You need an ambulance! I need to find a phone. No, you don't. There are no phones here. How do I get to Newark from here? Answer me! I need to contact a hospital! Ah, oh, she doesn't care. You've been here so long, you forgot... Forgot the way home? How long have we been here? Yeah, how long have we been here? Tell me, how long have we been locked up? Three years. Holy fuck. Three years and I never shagged Tori. What the fuck? I don't even remember your... Your real name. My real name? What do you mean? Your name. I've forgotten your name. Sam. If, if you say so, not that it matters. Can I please, like, cut her up into small pieces and shove him down the drain? What the fuck? Tori? I thought that that news article said three people have been found dead in a house just outside Warsaw in Poland. 
a 25 year old man who belonged to the group of three people three years ago who disappeared during a field trip to Warsaw in Poland has been found alive. The two others, a woman and a man, have been found dead. A third woman in her 60s was also found dead. The police are refusing to comment on the relation between the elderly woman and the students at this point. Jesus Christ. Psychiatrist Jerzyk Roth already wanted in the United States for the murder of her husband and the disappearance of her son in the early 90s is believed to have drugged the students and locked them in the house on the outskirts of Warsaw. For three years, she held the Newark students captive. It was when one of the students managed to escape that the story reached its conclusion. Despite the fact that the 25-year-old male student was able to point out the bodies, it proved to be incredibly difficult to identify them, as the names mentioned to the police could not be linked to any missing persons in Poland. It was only when the American Embassy in Warsaw saw a connection between the bodies and the vanished American students that they realised it was the missing student, Nicholas Jensen, who was the survivor. Nicholas. That's not much better than Sam. He introduced himself as Sam Eldritch. The female student he called Tori is believed to have died two and a half years earlier and a half after being years locked up for six months. Fuck. She was found buried underneath the house. Mm-hmm. The third student took his own life just before Jensen managed to escape. Almost did it. Yerazik Roth was out. also found dead at the scene. It is believed that she died in connection with Nicholas Jensen fleeing from the house. Yeah, that she fucking deserved to. The piece of fucking... Fuck you, Yerazik, you piece of shit. Fuck off. Bitch. Fucking living. That's why the monster came out of cell 3. Because that's where Tori was. And then Raphael was in cell 2 and I was in cell 1. Simple cell dwelling in two bodies. Still don't understand that. Holy fuck. The game itself... I have mixed, mixed feelings on. The atmosphere... The atmosphere was fantastic. The jump scares were good at times. Other times they were a bit clunky, especially in the episode one. But... That... Third episode in terms of story was... Amazing. With the stuff with Nini and Raphael. Tori and Sam or Nicholas. Yerisig relating to Jack. And the hand in a bag being the kids. And it all being Link, because I at first thought, what the fuck is the point of this headless guy, Jack? I don't care. Why are they making such a big deal out of him? She was the fucking wife. Jack's not for getting married to such a bitch in the first place, but... Oh. Like I said in the first episode, I really recommend getting this game. It's only a few pounds or a few dollars on Steam. And it's given me two and a half hours of gameplay. It's fantastic. And I've not even 100%ed it because I didn't get all the pennies. I don't really care about that. But in terms of indie horror games that I've played, this is up there. Holy shit. For the price, this is up there. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely. Really happy with that ending as well. The bad ending was pretty shit. But it's understandable. It's really obvious that that would happen. I thought he was just going to take the keys and then run out. But no, he was like, Give me the keys. Okay. I'm going to call the police. And you stay here. And then this all ends. And even if you escape, I'll make sure the police hunt you down. And then he walks slowly out. And then he got hit in the head. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this isn't the most popular thing I've done, but I wanted to make sure I finished this series. Just in case if you're watching right now, it might be the day this is uploaded, it might be a month later, it might be five years down the road. I wanted to make sure the entire series was there for you because a big pet peeve of mine is when a YouTuber does a series and you really enjoy it and then they end it for nothing. And this was only three episodes, so I felt like there was no reason not to finish it. It was fantastic. And I hope that you've enjoyed this journey. Hopefully the original Decay, which I've heard is so much better than this one, will be imported online at some point. Thank you all so much for watching. And 
wherever or whenever you're watching this. Hopefully, you're not a Sam, you're not a Yarazig, you're not a Raphael, you're not a Tory, but you're an amazing, awesome Nicholas. Enjoy the rest of your Nicholasy day.